Hi there. Just cooking some bacon. Mmm. Sweet, sweet bacon. And you know what bacon means? Bacon fat. Now different people do different things with bacon fat. Some people pour it into an old soup can and stick it in the fridge and then throw it out. Some people pour it down the drain, which is very bad. Never pour bacon fat down the drain. But really, you shouldn't throw bacon fat out at all. Bacon fat is full of flavor, and you need to put that flavor where flavor belongs, inside of you. So seeing as it's a strange and dangerous world out there these days, I'm gonna show you a thing I did. I don't know if it's a good thing, but I liked it. I'm gonna stir fry some lentils in this leftover bacon fat. Ooh, that is looking crispy. Mmm. There are a lot of different ways to make lentils. I don't think it particularly matters which way for these purposes, but I'll show you the way I did it for completeness. I'm gonna use the good old Instant Pot. And I'm gonna use my favorite lazy trick using it as a double boiler. So, in the Instant Pot, about a liter of water. I've got these bowls, I got them at the dollar store. They fit very nicely in the Instant Pot. So I could put the thing I actually wanna cook in the bowl and put the bowl in the Instant Pot and not have to clean this whole thing. Quarter cup of red lentils. I'm gonna put them in the strainer to rinse them. Rinse, 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 rinse. And in the bowl they go. And in the bowl, half a cup of water. Just, eh. Just gonna declumpify this a bit. And then I'm gonna put this in the instant pot and pressure cook for nine minutes. All right, well my bacon's looking pretty done here, so I'm gonna transfer this out. Oh, that's some good crispy bacon. Just kill the heat while I wait. So if you're doing this at home and uh, not making a video about it, you should probably start the lentils before you start the bacon. But the upside of my poor planning is at least now I have bacon. Mm. All right, let's go ahead and relieve the pressure. All right, so I've restored the heat to my bacon fat. My pressure is relieved from my Instant Pot. Let's check out how those lentils look. They look kind of like pasta. So now, let's add these to the bacon fat. Mmm. Now's a good time to acknowledge that I didn't come up with this idea out of the blue. I was inspired by refried beans. I'm not sure if I have beans on hand, and I definitely have lentils on hand. So when the stores are out of stock of things, you just gotta make do with what you have. It's cooking. Oh yeah. Slop up that bacon fat. Mm, mm, mm. Now I'm not gonna leave it at that. The key is seasoning. So I am going to add onion salt and cumin. Oh, yeah. I love cumin. Also, I still have a lot of this pre-minced garlic on hand, so why not? Get in there. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mix that all up. Just want to simmer. Yeah, I think that's looking pretty close to done. So seeing as I was inspired by refried beans, I was looking for a paste-like consistency and I think I have that now. I'm gonna kill the heat. Get in there. Look at this, it's like a savory porridge. I'm not gonna lie. 2020 is a scary time. It's not been a great year so far for a lot of people in a lot of ways. But, at least, the time is ripe for kitchen creativity. If you feel like trying something, now's the time to try it. Bon appétit.